Hi everyone, Miss Stella here, Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're going to talk about what happens when you regrow onions from scrap or what to expect. So let me show you what has happened. I planted a few scraps back in April and then again in June. And I've actually tried this experiment about three and a half years ago and it's pretty much the same result that I am getting so just want to show you so if you try to regrow onions this is what you can expect and I hope that you guys find this video helpful thanks for joining me guys and happy gardening the onion scraps were planted throughout the garden and some in containers like these ones here these were planted just about a month ago so as you can see you get some leafy greens if you regrow onion scraps the bottom scraps or if you decide to dissect the onion and take the middle out which i'll show you in a minute here is that you will get these greens and you can use them like you would with bunching onions or scallions now this one has died back completely so we'll go ahead and dig this up these were the ones planted back in april as you can see we have some small bulbs about the size of walnuts and in the past i've gotten slightly bigger bulbs so this is what you can expect when you are regrowing onion scraps when you regrow an onion it is essentially on its second season the first season you will most likely harvest a full-size onion bulb like this one here now this one has gone soft so i went ahead and cut into it and i'll be dissecting it taking out the outer flesh and planting just the middle part or you can also cut it crosswise like this and saving about an inch of the bottom and planting that as well but I've had a better results with planting the middle part and they will eventually grow into this and they seem to grow faster when you take out the outer flesh and plant the middle hole so you're not cutting off part of the bulb inside. Anyway, so that's what will happen is second season you'll get smaller looking bulbs like these and sometimes they will set flower and you can get some seeds. So I haven't gotten full-size onions from regrowing them, but at least you can get seeds and you'll also harvest a lot of these leafy greens. Also want to mention that when you plant the scraps, it'll actually shoot out a few plants, not just one, like these. So this is just one onion scrap. But as, you, as you can see, two smallish onion bulbs grew from that scrap I planted. Here's another one that I planted directly in the ground. And looks like we have two plants and one of them is actually growing into a small bulb. Here is one that I buried whole last summer. This was a Walla Walla onion that had gone bad. It started to get soft and now it's producing some flowers and most likely we'll get some seeds. And it looks like that one onion sprouted three separate plants. That's what we have, three flower stalks. Let's take a closer look. So I just want to show you guys that there are no bulbs here so I carefully remove some dirt and the bulbs are there but they're pretty slender so this is what can happen on second season onions again you can get smallish looking bulbs or some that will flower and produce some seeds for you so guys if you ever end up with old onions don't throw them away replant them for the leafy greens and you might even get some small onion bulbs or even just harvest them for the seeds. So when you cut into it, you can see the growth inside. So I think it's better to replant onions by peeling off the outer flesh instead of cutting them crosswise. That way you're not cutting off the plants or the bulb inside. See this? It's already starting to emerge. And you can also see some roots in there. See that? So eventually when you place this in moist soil or even in water for a few days, those roots in there will start to emerge and start to grow. 